Hey guys, it's Christina Marie here, and um, today has been a rough day. Um, well, originally this video was set to be about my experience going to see Taken 2 yesterday, and my um, top 10 favorite movies, and all of that. Like, I had the whole weekend planned, and... You know how God decides that he's going to shake it up a little bit by taking you out of your comfort zone? Yeah, that was my day today. Um, so I'm at the hair salon getting my hair done, which looks fabulous. Thank you. Um, so I'm there getting my hair done. And I'm there for a couple of hours. And then the I'm walking out to my car after my hair is done. And car starts just fine but I can't get the gear shift out of park into reverse like it was it, it wouldn't move at all like it just would not and so I said okay but I need to back up and so I'm there for like five minutes like banging on it trying to get it to finally move and then finally it does thank god I thought I broke it and so I start backing up and as I'm backing up it starts making this little ee sound like it I was forcing it to do something it didn't want to do and so I back it up and then I'm like please be easy to put into drive and so it was easy I switched it to drive and then I'm driving and then my car just takes this slow lug like I'm like flooring it and it's just going so slow and I'm like, okay, this is a problem because I'm 30, 20, 30 minutes from my house and I have to take two highways to get home. So I said, this is going to be a problem. And I was so nervous, not to mention that my gas tank was this close to being on empty. Another thing that, you know, is my fault. I shouldn't have procrastinated, but you know, I'm me. So then I'm driving and it starts to pick up speed a little bit more. So I'm like, okay, okay, maybe if I just get it closer to my house, I'm like, if you break down, then at least I'll be home. So I'm driving and it's every time I noticed every time I stopped at a stoplight, it would do the whole stop and then it would lug again real slow when it turns green and it do the ee sound. And so I'm like, oh my gosh, this car is going to break down and then I am super screwed. Fortunately, I guess I decided I wanted to be Miss Invincible today and decided to test the odds to see if I <laughs> would make it. And so I get on the highway, you guys with a busted car making all kinds of noise, having some kind of labor pains or something, and with barely any gas. Like, I am just asking for a disaster. I really am. But I was so high, I was just stressed, and I just wanted to get back to my side of town, and I just wanted to just be in familiar territory and take it from there. So... I just stay in the slow lane, the right lane on the highway the whole time, going like 60 miles per hour like grandma, and everything is fine, and I'm like, okay, just as I'm merging onto the second highway, I'm like, okay, when I merge onto the second highway, the next exit is my home, so I'm like, cool, I just need to get to the next exit. Wouldn't you know, as soon as I get onto the second highway, boom, traffic jam. Traffic jam. <laughs> On a Saturday afternoon, Saturday morning, actually. And I'm like, are you kidding me? And so I'm in traffic to get from the merge point to my to my exit, which is only a two mile gap. It took me 20 minutes to get from there, that merge to my exit. And I, the whole time I was freaking out. I was no longer worried about the gas tank being empty because I know my car and I knew I would make it. But my car was whining and making all these crazy noises. And so I'm just like, oh my gosh, I'm going to be one of those people whose car stopped on the side of the road. You know, the people that you kind of mentally curse at whenever they're the reason for the traffic jam or they're blocking like your lane or something. And I said, I'm going to be one of those people. And um, fortunately, 20 minutes later, I did get off the highway and I made it home. I pulled into my garage and turned off my car and well I put it into park 
turned off my car. I was too scared to stop by the gas station because I was afraid that what I'm about to tell you would happen at the gas station. So my car locks up again, the gear shift. And it, to my knowledge, it's still locked right now. Like I just gave up and I just said, I called Midas and made an appointment and all that stuff. And I just, um, I'm going to go in on Monday morning and have them look at it. They said it might be a transmission issue. And if it's a transmission issue, you guys, I don't know how much you know about cars. I don't know much. But transmissions are not cheap. They're anywhere from like 1000 to $4,000 depending on the car and depending on the labor. And I said, my car is not even worth that much. It's a 2004 Chevy. Aveo, yeah, 2004 Chevy Aveo, which is a crap car to begin with, but it's my car that got me through my high school life and my college life, so I can't hate on it. I love that thing. <sighs> but if the transmission, if it's a transmission and it costs more than $2,000 to fix, then I'm going to have to get a new car, and I don't want a car payment, and I don't want any of that, but I'll have to do it, and so I'm super stressed out right now because I didn't anticipate any of this happening. I've already called like my bank to check and see on getting pre-approved for stuff and all these different things, but this is not how I anticipated my Saturday to go. I was supposed to go to a coworker, my coworker's uh, premiere of their documentary, but I can't do that anymore because I'm too scared to drive my car for fear it's going to shut down or lock up on me again. Um, I have to be at church tomorrow at 7 a.m. So I called one of my friends who has to be there at the same time. She's fortunately going to come and get me because I'm literally like three to five minutes from the church. So she's going to come get me. But I was not anticipating any of this. I knew my car was getting old. I was tr going to trade it in at the 10-year mark, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. So... Yeah, uh, rough day. I'm exhausted. I don't have any makeup on, any, anything. I am stressed out. But I did want to make a video for you guys. If it wasn't going to be about what I planned it to be about, then it was going to be about something. So I decided I'd go on a little rant and tell you that I hate technology right now like I hate cars I hate everything I'm like why can't you just work all the time 100% I know that's not the way life works but it's just me ranting and getting it all off of my chest it's very cathartic fortunately I have a mother who is blessing the living daylights out of me right now she has been a godsend such a great help to me and so she has definitely help uh, make the, made the situation seem a lot less stressful. I'm still extremely stressed, but you know. So yeah, that was my Saturday. And uh, hopefully yours is going better than mine. But uh, I will talk to you guys soon. And hopefully my next video, I'll try and upload it tomorrow or sometime this week. I, I, I don't know how it's gonna work right now. I feel like I should take a break, but I also feel like making videos and blogging is something that's keeping my mind off of being stressed. So I'm gonna try and do as much as I can. But yeah, until next time, guys. Hopefully I'll have either a new car or a fixed car. See ya.